In this video, we're going to talk about simple data binding. Simple data binding is where you take a single value from your data source, in this case we're going to use an object data source, and bind it to a property, the canonical example being a text box and the text property. So in our code, we have text box 1, which is where we're going to read the value from our object, text box 2, which we're going to use to change the value, the name in this case, and label 1, where we're going to show at any given time the value that's saved in our object. We've tried to make the example as simple as possible. So our basic object is as basic as it can get. We have a private priv name string. The constructor takes the name as a string and sets the name equal to the passed in value. We have the name property, which has a getter and setter, standard practice. And we have the code behind in our form. In our form, we instantiate our object, my obj, as a basic object. And then in the form load, we instantiate it. And we pass in Patrick as the name. Textbox 1 is then has its data binding added to the text property for this object using the name property of this object and the most important parameter for us is this last one. Now there are seven different overloads for this method. There's one where we can pass in just the property name which we've done here and a data source, an object in this case and then the data member, just the first three. There's also overloads where we can pass in an additional one, which is this true for whether formatting is enabled or not, as well as others. The one we've chosen has a final value here at the end that dictates some behavior in how the data source will behave. In this case, it's called update mode. What update mode does is it lets us specify from three different settings. Never, okay, where the, the data source is never updated and values entered into the control are not parsed. Basically that means things are just discontinuous. When the property changes or when validation is complete. We've picked on property changed. This gives us a the ability to do a the one-way validation, the one-way sync. Then we have our other button. But before we go further, let's just load the form and watch what happens. The object gets instantiated. It's instantiated with the name of Patrick, and it puts it into our text box because of the data binding. Now we're going to talk about, okay, how do I now change the object? How do I bind the other way? Well, we do that in this button. We're taking this text box, and we're setting the name equal to John instead of Patrick and we also called code that refreshed our data binding. Anytime we want we can throw in show name and it, it confirms that John is the name. Let's look at the change name buttons event. That's button 1. We'll hide this. In button 1 we take my object's name property and we set it equal to whatever is in text box 2, the default being John. Then we set label 1 equal to that same value, but we read it from the object. Then we refresh the data binding on text box 1 by calling the data bindings, passing in the value, and then calling the read value method. That results in the behavior we just saw. But because I've done this property, this update mode, I can actually go even further. When I run the project again, I can change the name to John, but then if I want to change it back to Patrick, if I could spell it, I can hit show name and it confirms that the object has actually had its name changed back. We can also take a look at how show name works. It's very simple. It's just reading into the label the value of the name. Now, data binding can be read from a database. It can be read from an object. In a in tier architecture, we would use objects. In a two-tier architecture, we'd read the data directly from the database. And it works pretty much the same in both cases. Complex data binding 
is when we have lists. Simple data binding is we only have a simple object. I hope this is clarified for the, the subject of data binding and you can start using it in your projects.